I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Today what I got in stores, I'm gonna open up a small little eBay lot collection that I purchased on eBay. Uh, the total for this was like $11. I paid $5.50 for the actual cost and the rest was for the shipping. Pretty funny, the shipping was actually more than the cost I paid for the cards. It was just a couple hundred cards, saw some older cards on there and I wanted to open up and yeah, do it on camera and show you all. I uh, just covered up my name and my address to uh, keep the information private. And I'm just going to go ahead and just cut the tape and get at it. As you can probably tell, my voice is kind of a little bit under the weather. I lost my voice for the past few days, and uh, I'm slowly getting it back, full of mucus and all that fun stuff. But yeah, it's the crazy weather change, and it's starting to get really cold now. So anyways, let's just open this up and see what we get. Oh, looks like I'm peeling the cardboard, but I'm not actually getting in there. There we go. So if this was a really inexpensive lot, I just did a bid at the last minute. I bid uh, $10 and it only went up to like $5.50. It looks like there's smaller envelopes in there as well and a little note, which I'll just put to the side. I don't really want to read that. It might have more information. And it looks like he individually wrapped them, which is cool. I wasn't sure if they were going to be just thrown in there with paper. Just a small little Priority Express mailbox and three of these. So yeah, let's uh, just go ahead and open it up and see. Cool little envelopes. Uh, there we go. And let's just go in it one at a time. Little packages. Those cards look pretty clean. A little bit of yellowing as you can see. And there are some older sets right off the bat. We got Mirage. And it looks like some white border. Either 4th, 5th revised. Probably 5th edition it kind of looks like. So uh, the first card I got is FL Belmont. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, two black. Enchant Creature gets negative two, negative two. Cool from Mirage. Love this set. Really cool art. Cool. This guy's just hanging out there on his knees. Looks kind of starved. Getting that negative two, negative two. And like the text box on these are kind of orange. Interesting. Got an Urborg Panther. Cool. Got a couple of those. And these are actually uh, pretty clean. Pretty clean cards. Fun. So I got two Ur Urborg Panthers. Got myself a Drain Life. And this is before they had the X in Drain Life. It's one in a black sorcery. For each black mana you spend in addition to its casting cost, Drain Life deals one damage to target creature or player. Gain one life for each for each one damage dealt, but not more than the toughness of the creature or the life total of the player Drain Life damages. That's a whole jumble of text telling you that if you kill a creature that's a 7-7, seven, seven, even though you pay 8 mana, you're only going to get 7 life back. And uh, yeah, interesting. Drain Life. Cool art too. Got a Feral Shadow flying. Looks like they're kind of in order. Uh, this from the sets. It's a 2 1 creature, Feral Shadow. Really cool artwork on here. Summon Night Stalker. Just like a cloud floating around the city. Looks like Rush or something. Kind of those Hershey Kiss looking uh, building tops. Cool. Really like the blues in there. Got a Dark Banishing, Berry Target, non black creature. Boom. Just banish the creature. You can see something touch his arm and his arm's just like fading into ash. His body's on the ground dead too. Cool art. Dermot Power. I got a, a Dirt Water Wraith. It's got Swamp Walk. It has a, a black plus one plus zero until end of turn. It's a one three creature or a three and a black. Really cool art. Reminds me of like Predator or Alien or something like that. Really cool. Steve Luke. Beautiful art. Just hanging out in the swamp. Run away if you see that. Now this art is awesome. You can actually like feel and see the sunset on there. You got the glow around his head. You got the zombie horse or zombie guy on it. Cadaverous Knight. Two in a black summon knight. It's got flanking. Huh. Whenever a creature without flanking is assigned to block uh, this creature, that blocking creature gets negative one, negative one until end of turn. Cool. And it's a two two and has regenerate for one and three black. I mean one and two black. Really cool art. Love it. Dermont Power. Mirage was a fun set. And beautiful art, really beautiful art. Binding Agony, one in a black. Enchant creature, for each one damage dealt to enchanted creature, Binding Agony deals one damage to that creature's controller. Put this on that creature, if that creature blocks, even if it blocks, it still takes the damage to the controller. Looks like uh, there's some weird like creature on the back of someone's skull. Crazy, love the art, so dark looking. A crash of rhinos in my head. Rhinos in my head. I got a Breath Stalker, a Summon Night Stalker. I'm almost want to make a Night Stalker deck. There's a cool card. It's like 
Oh, no, I'm thinking of, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of Night Stalkers. There's a card that brings them all back from your graveyard to the battlefield. That'd be fun. Two and a black, summon Night Stalker. Black, plus one, negative one, till end of turn. It's a two-two creature, just hanging out in, like, a cathedral or something. He's got a freaking head in his hand. He's got a crazy scimitar, and he's got, like, evil eyes. Almost got, like, a red ring around him. Beautiful art. So cool. Love Mirage. What a cool set. Like, look at this art. This is incredible. Look at the oranges and reds in there. Just like a field of skeletons with a tree growing out. It's not ground. It's uh, skeletons. And this guy's still got a little bit of flesh on him. Two and a black. Great for Halloween. Instant. Put any number of target creature cards from your graveyard on top of your library. Draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Awesome. Print and all your creature cards if you want on top of your graveyard. Draw a card. But then you only have creatures to draw from. But maybe that's what you want. It's an instant. Beautiful reds and oranges on there. Beautiful. Love the depth. You got the skull up front. You see this person hanging out there. All the skulls in the tree in the background. Lovely oranges and yellows. Greg Samuson. Lovely art. And it looks like the person I bought this from kind of put them in order. So I might not get that many good cards. It's hard to tell if you like already looked at th looked through them. The picture wasn't that great. It just kind of was like the back and then one of them kind of spread out like this. Because it looks like it's going to be black, white. Uh, we'll see. We'll just see. Uh, but honestly, these, I don't buy them to make money. I buy them to have fun and just look at some older cards and older art and just really appreciate it because the game is fun and you gotta learn where it comes from to enjoy it. You got this, like, uh, crazy leopard, uh, cheetah bird griffin creature. Crazy looking. Just hanging out in the forest, flying. It's a 2-2 two -two for a 3 and a white. as a white and tap. Return the griffin to its owner's hand. Return target griffin card and graveyard to your hand. Cool, so if you have other griffins, you've returned this to your hand and return another griffin from your grave at your hand. Fun. I got a divine offering. Got a couple of them. And so the other cards there are like in order, so it looks like he did go through them, or he or she. So, yeah, that is something. Divine offering, one in a white. Destroy target artifact, gain an amount of life equal to the artifact's casting cost. Awesome. Instant speed, destroy artifact, and gain life. Really cool card. Look at the detail on this. You got some crazy werewolf Trying to like attack this guy, looks like blood's on his fingers and he's got some like magical scepter in his hand. You kind of see some glow going on. This poor guy's about to die. It's out uh, one and two white. Enchantment, whenever you play uh, Mangra's Equity, choose black or red. During your upkeep, pay one in white or bury Mangra's Equity. It's got uh, cumulative upkeep. For each one damage to a creature of chosen color, uh, uh, deals to you or white creature you control, Mangra's Equity deals one damage to that creature. Cool, so uh, deal some damage back. Look at this artwork on here. This is beautiful. It's really beautiful. She's blowing to this orb and it has like faces screaming out of it, coming out like they're angry. Some like demons are getting blown off of that ball. It's like a shaman or something like that, just cleansing it. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Perfectly represents it. Blowing away the artifact or enchantment. Really cool, one in white, beautiful art. Charles Gills Pie, got two of those. Love Mirage, such beautiful art. Benevolent Unicorn. Look at the detail on that. You got the artist signature in the corner. Cool, wish they did that more. David A. Cherry. It's a 1 2. Whenever a spell signs damage to a creature or a player, that damage is reduced by 1. So, regardless of what creature or player, if it's yours or, or your opponent's, the damage is reduced by 1. This unicorn is there to help everybody. Looks like I got a forest. I got another forest. Got a buyback card. It looks like there's a couple black cards spliced out there, so now I'm not sure if he went through them. Anyways, it really doesn't matter. Just having fun. I got a disturbed burial. One in a white, I mean, one in a black. Looks like this creature's coming up from the ground. He got his buddy in the background. Tan's coming out of his grave. It's got buyback for three. You may pay an additional three when you play this spell. If you do, put it in your hand instead of in your graveyard as a part of the spell's effect. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Pretty cool, so you can keep like playing it. You play this for actually five mana. Put this back in your hand. Next turn, you can play it again, either for five mana or just two. Get a creature. I got a blood pet. Look at this crazy little guy. It looks like a like a water uh, water bear or something like that. It's just some crazy little demon creature that's stitched up together. It's little eye, little squirrel. Cool. One black. Summon thrall. Sacrifice blood pet. Add black to your mana pool. Play this ability as a mana source. It's a one one. You are wrong. Well, I said. I do not hate the living. They often provide quite useful to me. And then he laughed. So he made them. 
got a Sky Shroud Elf. One in a green. He's playing with red and green fire in his hand. So he probably makes red and green mana. And he even makes some white. Uh, tap. Add green to your mana pool. Uh, pay one. Add uh, white or red to your mana pool. Play the ability of mana source. That's pretty cool. Pay one and put it to your mana pool. So, uh, well, it pretty much turns whatever into, uh, yeah, into a white or red. So you can even tap it. Add a green. Use the green to make a white or red, which is interesting. I believe you can. I got a Marsh Lurker, and this is, uh, looks like, oh, I didn't realize we went to Tempest now. We're in Tempest, and this is some Odyssey land. This was one of my favorite set, Odyssey. Interesting symbol. I don't really know what it is, but I love it. I got a Marsh Lurker. Three in a black, summon beast, sacrifice a swamp. Marsh Lurker cannot be blocked this turn except by artifact creatures and black, so he gains fear. It's a 3-2 creature just hanging out in the marsh. Look at his eyes. They got like a crazy marbling to them. And his crazy teeth. Rawr. Tom Kiffin. Cool art. This is a Torment, I believe. The set symbol over here. Nantucko Calmer. Uh, two and two green. They're walking through the forest. They look like giant praying mantis creatures. And he's got his staff and he's just emitting this energy and like cleaning the forest or something. They're doing some work or something. Green tap, sacrifice, nine taco claimer. Destroy target enchantment. It's got threshold. So if you have seven or more cards in your graveyard, regardless of what card type, it gets plus one, plus one. So if you got seven cards in your graveyard, this guy's a three, four. If not, just a two, three with a green tap, sacrifice, artifact. Cool. Got that. Looks like I got some, uh, what is this? Like, I forgot this set of po mm, apocalypse. No, definitely not. Thief of Dreams. I can't think of it right now. Uh, two and a white. I mean, two and a blue. Can't see colors today. For each tag creature, uh, target opponent controls, draw a card. It's a sorcery. If it was instant speed, that would be so much easier. Well, actually, it doesn't matter because they can't untap their creatures unless they have, like, Ice Manipulator or something. You got this crazy guy in the background. His hands up, doing some spell and all these guys in front. Crazy, beautiful, detailed work art. Interesting. Richard Kane Ferguson. Boom. Now this one is Nemesis. Got a Flowstone Strike. These guys are fighting, sword fighting. Got the red in the background. Got their scimitars and they're going at it. One in a red. What are they really fighting for? Nothing. Tiger creature gets plus one, negative one, and gains haste until end of turn. Haste is, it may attack and tap the turn it comes in under your control. Aggressions extracts its toll. Boom. Got a Howling Wolf. Beautiful art. It's like a red-looking wolf just hanging out in the treetops, it looks like. Not even on the ground. You got the moon perfectly behind his head. Love the purples on the branch. Really beautiful art. Good job, Heather Hudson. Love it. 2-2 two two Green Creature Wolf. It's a 2-2. Two two. When Howling Wolf comes into play, you may search your library for up to three. I had to uh, delete a couple videos on my flash, my uh, SD card. It said I ran out of space. So I believe I was reading this. It says uh, when you play this, Search your library for up to three Howling Wolf cards. So pretty much get all four of your cards, put them in your hand. You do shuffle your library. So pretty much once you get one of these and you play it, you can get all other uh, copies in your deck if you'd like. Pretty cool and lovely art. Looks like, do I have the four copies? I do, so cool. So they come with their brethren. Looks like I got Intervene. One blue. Got some crazy little fairy over there. This is from uh, Judgment. Or Urza's, I think Urza's Destiny. Or Urza's, yeah, I think Urza's Destiny. Uh, it looks like this crazy guy over here has got his eyes closed. I'm not really sure what's happening. He's stopping a lightning bolt from hitting him. He's got, like, planets flying around his head. He's a lunatic. It's an interrupt. This means instant. Counter target spell that targets a creature. So, like, he's stopping a lightning bolt for one blue. Pretty cool. Pretty cool counter spell. I got uh, an uncommon from Urza's... This is from one of the Urza's block. It's either Urza's Destiny or Urza's Saga. But yeah, it's a Disappear 2 and 2 uh, blue. And this one you can tell is uncommon because like Tempest and Mirage, they don't really have color-coded rares, but I'll start setting a pile aside. See if we get any rares or anything like that. I never really saw any in the, bit in the pictures, but then again, I just look like something I had fun with. Blue, return target enchanted creature and disappear to its owner's hands. So, pay a blue once you put it on a creature, make it disappear. This one's Urza's, uh, this is another Urza's block, Cloak of Mists. One in a blue, this guy's hanging out there, got his Harry Potter cloak on, uh, hiding himself. Enchant creature, enchant creature is unblockable, make your creature unblockable. All we could lose, we did. All we could keep, we did. And both are shrouded by mist. Cool. 
it got an elvish guide guy dancer he looks like he's putting energy around the tree really beautiful leaves and everything at the purple with a little bit of yellow glow energy to in the green enchant land whenever enchant land is tied for mana its controller adds green to his mana pool for each elf in play put this in the elf deck pretty much if you don't have elves in your deck why would you put this in i got some uh hmm what is this onslaught i believe so bright stone ritual we got these goblins here this is a cool card great for goblin decks it's a common one red Add red to your mana pool for each goblin in play, and it's only one red, and probably if you have a goblin deck, boom, you're going to have a whole lot of red. I miss how they had uh, the gravestone by any cards with graveyard effects, like flashback. They should bring this back because it makes it so easy. You know right away, this card's got a flashback effect. It's got a gravestone next to the name. Firebolt, one red. Got this dragon spewing out magma and lava. This is probably by Ron Spencer. Yep, you can tell. Just I can tell by the shading of it and like the detail and like all the scales and everything. Ron Spencer is amazing. He's probably my favorite Magic the Gathering artist. Firebolt deals two damage to target creature or player, and it's got a flashback for four and a red. You may play this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost, then remove it from the game. So play this for one, and then next turn you can play it for five, then remove it from the game. Looks like I got a Gem Palm Strider, great for elf decks. One and a green. This creature elf. It's got cycling for two and two green. Discard this card from your hand. Draw a card. When you cycle Gem Palm Strider, all else get plus one, plus two, plus two until end of turn. Give your elf a lot of strength if you cycle it. These cards, they kind of make you want to cycle. And it's a two, two. Fun. Gem Palm, uh, Gem Palm Polluter for the Goblin deck is great. Echo Tracer. Two and a blue. Looks like he's putting an orb around this guy's head. Stopping him. Interesting buildings in the background. Kind of like a bubble. Like kind of looking through a fisheye, it looks like. You can see a little bit of curve to the background. It's a creature wizard for morph for a two and a blue. You may play this card face up. Uh, face down as a two, two creature for three. Turn it face up anytime for its morph cost. Mm -hmm. When echo tracers turn face up, return target creature to its owner's hand. So some cards have morph abilities. So when it morphs, you return a target creature to its owner's hand, either yours or your opponent's. And I believe you can morph at instant speed. And... Um, yeah, Morph is an interesting effect. There's not many cards anymore that you flip over on their backside. In fact, I've never played a game with anyone other than, I believe, myself who's used a Morph card just because I don't know if they're the greatest, but I think they're fun. It's kind of like uh, flip cards, but I love them. Cool, got a multicolor card. Love the old multicolor border. Bring it back. I really hope they do. Make a petition for it. I would love it. Cool, cool, cool. Wings of Hope, uh, white and blue. Guy's flying on his glider. Got some energy above him. And you got his buddy in the background. Really cool. Enchant creature gets plus one, plus three, and has flying. Awesome card. Give him flying and some defense and a little bit of power. I got a tower drake. Tuna blue. This guy's on his big old drake. Flying uh, has white. Add white. So you want to splash white in here if you're using this. Tower drake gets plus zero, plus one until end of turn. It's a two one. Young tower drakes quickly learn to maneuver among uh, Benela's many spires. The spires of the buildings. Really cool. He's riding a dragon, not even tapped, not even like uh, strapped on there. So hopefully the dragon doesn't move too fast. And this is uh, what is this invasion? I can't think of the name. A holy day. Uh, so it's been quite a few sets in here. This one is uh, I can't think of it. Apocalypse? No. Holy day. One white. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. It's like fog, except for combat damage. Really cool. And this guy's just standing there. Really gray hair. Preventing energy from this. Really like it. Got a couple of those. Crown of Flames. One red. Enchant creature. Enchant creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Return Crown of Flames to its owner's hand. Cool. One sec. And I'm back. Oh no, <laughs> I made a mess. Let me just pick them up real quick. So it just got done with Crown of Flame, and I dropped the four cards, and I saw one of them. It was like a tower. I got Stormscape Familiar. It's an owl. It should be an owl instead of a bird, but I guess they want bird tribal. This is Apocalypse. No, Time Shifted. Or Planet Shifted, I believe. One in a blue, flying. Uh, white spells and black spells you play cost one less to play. Interesting. They uh, have play instead of cast. It's a 1-1. One, one. Awesome. Looks like I got... Uh, couple older cards here. This is 5th um, edition, I believe. This is Onulet. 3 generic. Some weird looking bowl, table. 
Looks like you have blood on there, like a sacrifice, and the blood leads to there. Crazy. Three generic. If Onula is put into a grave from play, gain two life. And it's a 2-2. Two -two. It's a creature. This is a creature. It doesn't look like it, but it is. I got a life tap. This is a revised uh, two blue uh, life tap. Whoa, look at the red. Look at the colors in there. Cool. It's like a vampire. You gain one life each time any forest of an opponent becomes tapped in his enchantment. So this one is revised. One of the older cards I've had yet. I got a gainsay. One in a blue. Really detailed work. Looks like they're having tough words. Counter target. Blue spell. Get a blue spell. Tower, uh, counter it. It's an uncommon. I got Urzur's Tower and Urzur's Power Plant. These are always fun. I believe this is from uh, Chronicles or Anthologies. No, I think Chronicles. And uh, Urza's Tower. Uh, you probably know this. Tap. Add one colors mana to your mana pool. If you control Urza's Mine, Urza's Tower, Urza's Power Plant, add three colors mana to your mana pool instead. So if you have all three of these on the board, uh, they each add two. This one adds three. Same with Urza's Power Plant. Really cool. Looks like some crazy, like energy thing and you got some, like an old fan right there fun um let's put those in there might as well i got ashnod's transmaga transmogrant not really sure how to pronounce that looks like this red stuff is feeding this creature in there disgusting one uh generic artifact tap sacrifice the transmaga i'm not sure how to pronounce it put a one one counter on target non-artifact creature that creature becomes an artifact creature although it retains its color Hmm, interesting. Looks like some, like, experiment. They're growing this guy in there. Doesn't really have skin, doesn't really have eyes, but he's eating this red liquid and, uh, yeah, living inside the green goo. Oh, looks like I got a couple of, looks like I have three of those. I got a repentant blacksmith. One in a white. Protection from red. It's a one-two, just blacksmithing away. Really cool art. Really cool, like, watercolors looking like. Drew Tucker. like it. Probably got a couple of those. Yeah, these, these if you buy like a collection or something, there's always a couple of those, I feel. Looks like I got a Dandan. Two blue. Not really sure what these pictures are. It's always hard to tell. Is that a fish in the background? Oh, it is. These are giant boats. Or oh, these are just like rowboats. And underneath it, the water, there's this fish like coming up. About to get them. And there's no one on the boats. I don't know why. But yeah. Cannot attack a defending player. Controls no islands. If at any time you control no islands, bury Dandan. It's a 4-1. It's got a little bit of toughness, but pretty cool. I got a couple of those. Got some fish liver oil, because you know what they say, fish oil is good. One in a blue. Got this fish in the background. Got the bottle of oil in front. They're about to oil it. I don't know how you oil a fish. Tiger creature gains island walk. Give him some island walk. Oh, got some rats. Bog rats. Cannot be blocked by walls. It's one black, generic. These rats got some nasty looking teeth, and they're going to help you. And they'll go right through the walls, especially with some wall decks. Banshee, 2 and 2 black. X and taps. Banshee deals X damage. Half rounded up to you and half rounded down to target creature or player. It's zero one. 1 Ouch. But I mean, you could use this to finish the game if you had it to. Fun. And it's just like a cloaked, cloaked person with red eyes. Interesting. Look at the art on this. Emerald Dragonfly, 1 and a green flying. This is, uh, yeah, same set, Anthologies or Chronicles. Flying, two green, and it gets first strike until end of turn. It's a 1-1, one, one, Summon, Dragonfly. Cool art by Quentin Hoover. Love it. Got some Cat Warriors with some Forest Walk. They're 2-2 two, two Cat Warrior creatures. They look uh, interesting. They're on the top of a building. I don't know if they're going to steal something or jump down. You got the artist signature there. You got the two suns, I guess, there. Really cool skin. One and two green for some Cat Warriors. Got three of those. Got myself a giant slug. Five, during your next upkeep, choose a basic land walk ability. Giant slug gains that log walk ability until end of turn. Pretty cool. So you have to pay a whole lot and you can get him to attack through. I don't understand why he's a 1-1. One, one. You're going to definitely want him enchanted. And plus five is a big cost to pay for just a land walk ability. Interesting. But if you have nothing else, you might as well play the land walk ability. Got myself a cocoon. Cool. One green. Got a cocoon. Looks like inside some fleshy place, like a crazy blue and like almost skin like in the background. A lot of text here. Tap target creature you control and put three counters on cocoon. If there are any cha change counters on cocoon, that creature does not untap during your untap phase. 
During your upkeep, remove one charge counter, change counter. During the upkeep, after the one in which the last change counter was removed, put a 1-1 one -one counter on the creature. The creature gains flying, bear cocoon. So pretty much uh, three turns, each turn you remove an upkeep counter or a counter. Uh, once there's no counters left on cocoon, bury cocoon, put a 1-1 one -one counter on that creature, and give it a flying. So make it a butterfly. A lot of text for a lot of stuff. I got a mountain yeti. Looks like there's two of them. Very interesting portrait of this yeti, and then he's walking in the background. It looks like a school picture or something. You can see it's flipping through a yearbook of the yeti, and he's just sitting there, and the mom's like, oh, you look great. Two and two red mountain walk, protection from white. It's a 3-3 three, three guy. Boom. Got a couple of them. Got four of them. Got a play set of yetis. Got myself a howl from beyond. Fifth edition. X end of black. Really cool art. Look at this guy. This is by John Coltart. Target creature gets plus X plus zero until end of turn. And this is the card where it has X in the casting cost and instant speed. Also got a raised dead. Got the skeleton guy busting out of his coffin. He's like, I still got it. He's missing a tooth and missing most of his face, but he's good. Take target creature from your graveyard. Put it in your hand. Easy. One black. Fun. So I've got a couple uncommons in that. Maybe we got three. Bunch of older sets here. Really cool. Got a piece of... Uh, that on there. Looks like some alliances as well. Interesting. Got an Elvish Ranger. Alliance is a fun set. Cool art as well. Two and a green. It's a 4 1 creature just to summon elf. I got a Gorilla Berserker. 3 and 2 green. Trample Rampage 2. Cannot be blocked by fewer than 3 creatures. It's a 2 3 creature. And he's got his war armor on, his spear, and he's screaming and going crazy. Rawr. Alliance is another set where they don't have the rarity and color. It's uh, all they all kind of look silver. I got a primitive justice one in a red sorcery. Destroy target artifact. Destroy target artifact for each one in a red you pay in addition to its casting cost. Destroy target artifact and gain one life for each one in a green you pay in addition to its casting cost. One in a red and it looks like he's hanging out inside of a rib cage of a big monster. A bunch of ape creatures. I got a burnout. Counter target interrupt spell if it is blue. Draw a card at the beginning of your next turn's upkeep. Gotcha. One in a red. Burnout. Boom. Instant speed. Interrupt. Fun. Got a death spark. Looks like the spark going through this guy's head. He got the skull in the background. A uh, little bit of skin on it and more skin on it. Interesting. Got the red bolt just going through it. One red. Death spark deals one damage to target creature or player. At the end of your upkeep, if death spark is in your graveyard, with a creature card directly above it, you may pay one to put Death Spark in your hand. Interesting, kind of like Nether Shadow effect. If it's in your graveyard with a creature above it, put it back in your hand. Fun. Got a, a strong, strong geld spy. Three in the black. Stronghold spy. It's a two four creature. A strong storm glad spy tax, and it's not blocked. You may choose to have it. Deal no damage to defending player this turn. If you do, if you do so, defending player must play with. His or her hand face up on the table until Stromgald Spy leaves play. Fun. Fun card. Get to see their hand. Got a Corvokian Plague. Uh-oh. The plague in the city. Got some guys passing out over there. Not feeling too well. He's next. And the plague is coming there. Really tiny text there. Play a non-wall creature you control. Draw a card at the beginning of the upkeep. Of the term Corvokian Plague comes into play. Zero, tap, enchanted creature to have Kokian Plague. Deal one damage to target creature or player. Put a negative, zero, negative one counter on enchanted creature. So you can deal one damage to a creature or a player, but you got to put a negative one counter, a uh, defense counter on your creature. Cool. Balduvian dead. These guys are hanging out. They look like uh, barbarians or something like that, but they're also skull people. Three and a black or zombies. It's two, three. Two and a red, remove target summon card in the graveyard from the game to put Greyborn token into play. Treat this token as a 3-1 black and red creature that can attack the turn it comes into play. Bear Greyborn token at the end of the turn. So play two and red, put a 3-1 creature with haste into play. Remove it at the end of turn. Got a couple of those. Got a feast or famine. Got these guys, they got a knife above them. Uh, really interesting detailed art. Pete Ventures. Ventures. Hmm. Three and a black. Got some crazy looking nasty untrimmed fingernails there. Bury target non-black creature. Non-artifact creature. Or put a zombie token to play. Treat this as a 2-2 black creature. Awesome. You got three choices. Love it. 
You can either bury non-black, bury non-artifact, or put a, a zombie token into play. Awesome. Fun card. This is alliances. Uh, oops, got two of those. Looks like I have some visions, actually. Got a water spout dinge. Two and two blue. Summon dinge flying during your upkeep. Return an untapped island control to your owner's hand or bury water spout dinge. It's a 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four for 4 for flying. And you got to return an island every time to your hand being your upkeep. Mm, not the greatest. A vortex is taken in this, uh, this boat. I got a... Soldvin Steam Beast, five generic, got the purple sun in the background. Whenever the Steam Beast becomes tap target opponent gains two life, regenerate. It's four two. When he taps, man, an opponent gains life. Not that good of a card, really not. Got two of those. Got a Pyrexian War Beast, three generic. Got some crazy beast looking creature there. Is he flying in the sky? It's hard to tell. Got like in the background, desert looking things. Looks like a dragonfly creature in the front. Artifact creature, if Pyrexian War Beast leaves play, sacrifice a land, Pyrexian War Beast does one damage to you. These aren't very good. Three. <laughs> Excuse me. And it's three, four creature. Not that good. I got a whirling catapult. Four generic. You got this goblin guy in the corner. He's about to load it up with the spike ball. And he's just looking at it saying, let's let it fly. Two, remove top two cards of your library from the game to have whirling catapult do one damage to each creature with flying in each player. It's four generic. Some of these cards aren't that good. Got astrolabe. Three generic. One tap sacrifice astrolabe to add two mana of any one color two mana pool. Place ability as an interrupt. Draw a card at the beginning of next turn's upkeep. Pretty cool. And it looks cool. Looks like some space looking thing. I got a shrink. This is the opposite of giant growth. One green. Got the purple shadow. The orange background. This guy standing there. You can see the purple shadow. The huge guy. Have this big axe. Really cool art. Instant target creature. It's negative five, negative zero until end of turn. If only it was negative five, negative five. This would be an amazing card. That would be too good. This is by Liz Danford. Cool art. Got some uh, Abby Matrone. Crazy looking lady. Looks insane. Two and a white. Don't even look at her in the eyes. Summon clerk. It's a 1-3. White and tap. Gets plus zero, plus three until end of turn. The matrons are kindly sold. Don't ask for one for an ale. Hmm. Misa Falcon. One and a white. Summon Falcon flying. Play uh, one in white, gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Cool. Ooh, this is a beautiful looking card. Got a peacock in the background, and it uh, looks like a light or lamp going on there, and energy just hitting it and blocking it. And uh, cool, it's a relic ward, one in a white. Uh, you may choose to play relic ward as an instant if you do bury it at the end of turn. Enchanted artifact cannot be the target of spells or effects. So pretty much give hexproof to an artifact. Fun. And I got two of those. Really cool. Got myself a false demise. Two in a blue. If enchanted creature is put into a graveyard, return that creature to play under your control as though we're just cast. So, play this on your creature. If it dies, put it back into play. This guy's crawling out of the ground. Looks like his pinky hurts. Looks like it's kind of green. So I got a false demise. I got a breeze keeper. Got a couple of those. A three in a blue. Summon dinge flying and phasing. It's a four four creature with flying and phasing. Interesting. He's got wings on his head. I hope that helps him fly faster. Got some like moon and stars flying off of him. Really cool. Got three of those. I got a summon ape. Uktabin orangutan. Two in a green. Really cool art. He's just dancing around and these monkeys are. They are banging in the background. Wow. <laughs> and you got this angering dancing there. Who drew this? Una Fricker. Interesting. When uh, orangutan comes into play, destroy target artifact. You just dancing, having a merry old time. Lovely colors. Lovely colors. Got a spider climb. One green. Ron Spencer definitely drew this. Yep. You can tell just by the shading and stuff. This woman is climbing the tree like a panther or something. Look at her crazy fingernails just digging in there. Love the angle of this. Just looking down the tree. Crazy looking hair. You may choose to play spider climb as an instant. If you do, bury it at the end of turn. Enchanter creature gets plus zero, plus three. And can block creatures with flying. So it gets reach. And a little bit of strength. Boom, got two of those. I got a wind shear. Two and a green. Got this like uh, blue looking dragon kind of in a ball. It probably kills a creature with flying from visions. All attacking creatures with flying get negative two, negative two, and lose flying till end of turn. That's a great instant. Make all the flying creatures fall to the ground. You can block them with your non-flying creatures, and they also get negative two, negative two, even if they have indestructibility and they're a two-two. 
boom, put them into the graveyard. Got myself a river boa, beautiful artwork, look at this, just the boa coming around, it's a crazy long tail, got nice depth, the head, the body, the tail in the background, the marsh water, summon snake with island walk, one in a green, makes perfect sense, you can swim through the water, it's got one green for regenerate, it's a 2-1, awesome card, really cool, love it. Got some more cat warriors, panther warriors, these guys are running through the field, these panthers, they look very muscly and crazy, who drew this? Cecile Fernando. It's a 6-3 creature for 4 and a green. Big guys. Very big. They come together and they smash you. Cool art. Got a couple of those. I got a mortal wound. Dang, this like boar creature just bit this thing's leg off. It just literally ripped it off. You don't see art like that anymore. Holy moly. One green just ripping the leg off. Crazy art. Cool. Kevin Walker. If damage is dealt to enchanted creature, destroy it. So even if you just give it a little touch, boop, it is dead. Got two of, got four of those, four of those. Got a giant centipede or caterpillar. Three and a green. This giant guy is eating uh, this like treetops. These uh, creatures were probably eating it, but they're like, well, let's get out of here. Lovely colors, probably poisonous. Bright colors usually mean poisonous in the wild. Got the trees in the foreground, them in the background. You can see these like kind of antelope creatures back there. And they're like, what is that? Let's just go home. Can't imagine the butterfly that turns into. It's a three, three, green. Uh, sacrifice giant caterpillar put a butterfly token into play <laughs> cool this I guess I find out put a butterfly token into play at the end of turn treat this token as a 1-1 one, one green creature with flying so it's a 3-3 three, three, sack it make a 1-1 one, one creature with flying boom got a feral instincts this crazy rhino's off the loose it's a 1 and a green instant tiger creature gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep give it a tiny bit of strength and draw some card draw beautiful art he's just running around lovely depth of the picture Got some movement on it as well. Got a couple of those. Got an elven catch. Look at the detail on this. She's got a creepy look on her. She's pointing in the tree. She's like, go in there. But I'm not going in there. Two and two green. Sorcery. Return target card from your grave to your hand. Awesome. Any card. Could be creature. Could be planeswalker. Could be sorcery, spell, artifact. Could be land. Return it to your hand. Pretty cool. Love it. I got a creeping mold. Look at this. Get the horse running away. Get the mold creeping over there. He's looking backwards, he knows it's not good. Two and two green, sorcery, destroy target artifact, land or enchantment. Mold could catch you, boom. So cool, land, artifact, enchantment, you are not safe with creeping mold at sorcery speed. Got myself a mob mentality, one red, enchantment creature, uh, gets, they get trample. If a non-wall creature you control attacks, enchanted creature gets plus zero, I mean plus star plus zero until end of turn, where star is equal to the number of attacking creatures. Hmm, interesting. So if a non-wall creature attacks you, that creature gets uh, their, what is it? The number of attacking creatures. So, cool, that's interesting. Give it a bit of strength. Got a Talrum Piper. Got this Minotaur. Yeah, it is a Minotaur. Blowing his didgeridoo in the background. Calling this crazy dragon. Really cool reds and yellows and oranges in this picture. Four in a red. Summon Minotaur. All creatures with flying able to block... Uh, the Minotaur Piper, do so. It's a 3-3. Three, three. He's playing his Piper, so everything flying is attracted to him. Just like if you hold up a light, all the bugs will fly to it. Got a Flinking Squat Lancer. Two and a red. Really cool art. Got like black around him, then a white aura. And then, uh, yeah, got the horse. He's got his Lance. And he means business. Summon a Knight with Flinking. Lancer is unaffected by Summon Sickness. It's got Haste, and it's a 2-2. Two, two. And I got, got four of those. So I've gotten a few cards with uh, four sets. I got a hulking cyclops. Looks like he just pulled out a tree branch. He looks like an oaf. He lives in a cave. Interesting. Got the tree in the background. The cyclops up front. You see his tree holding. You see his home. Summon cyclops. Hulking cyclops cannot block. Some say great cyclops turns the world uh, in its hands. Looking down upon it with its one bright eye. It's a 5-5. Five five, and he can't block because you probably can't see that well. <laughs> So I got two of those. I got a brood of cockroaches. Look at that picture. Interesting artwork. You got a kitty cat in the background. This guy sleeping on his bed. You got all these cockroaches there. You can see them from the slow angle. You can see they're real big because the camera's on the ground. And it's just going right to him. You got the tiny moon. I really like this art. Illustrated by G, Darren, and I, Robert. Okay. It's a 1-1 creature for one in a black. 
If Brood of Cockroaches is put in a graveyard from play, pay one life and return Brood of Cockroaches to your hand at the end of turn. It's like wake, walking on a bed of a thousand olives during an earthquake of subtle force. That's disgusting. Cool card. Love the art. I got a Fallen. A Shkiri. One, one sec. My batteries need to be changed. Alright, and I'm back. Sorry about that. My camera battery died. And, uh, yes. I was on Fallen. A Shkiri. One and a Black summon knight with flanking. When fallen, fallen Ashari cannot block, it's a 2 2 creature. In troubled times, there are few greater sorrows than the wayward savior. Boom. Got a vampirism. Look at that. There's like a cave, and there's just all these vampires there. They're just naked and afraid, and they're all in the fetal position. This one's on top of the wall. Seems to be only females. They got red eyes. Got like the. They're just hiding from the sunlight in their little cave, and at night, I'm sure they're gonna run out. One in a black enchant creature. Draw a card at the beginning of your upkeep. The term vampirism comes into play. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control. All other creatures you control get negative one, negative one. Interesting. So get the creature really strong for all the creatures you have. But if they're small, they could die. I got a four shadow. Got the sky walk in the background. You can see some of the bricks and there's like this face on it. One in a blue. Instant name a card. Put the top card of your target opponent's library into his or her graveyard. Thick card is the one named draw a card at the beginning of your upkeep at the beginning draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep sorry <laughs> interesting art right. i think i got three of those i got knight of mists a summon knight really cool art really nice really like it it's like uh the knight is actually made of the mist beautiful almost looks like a three if i hold it upside down love the art on this harold mcneil it's got flanking a lot of flanking and visions. When Knight of the Mist comes into play, pay blue or berry target Knight. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Hmm. It's a 2 and a white with flanking. I mean 2 and a blue for flanking 2-2. Two -two. Fear the mists, for they are armed. He's running around in his mist form with his sword and his horse. Interesting. I got another Water Spout de Jin. I got another Disenchant, another one of these. I got a Vigilant Martyr. One white and uh, really cool art you got this guy's face and you got this guy in him it looks like it's the same person maybe that's how he's feeling inside it's hard to tell cool art uh rebecca glory it's one one creature for one white sacrifice uh vigilant martyr regenerate target creature two white and tap sacrifice vigilant martyr counter target spell that targets an enchantment in play place ability as an interrupt so only counter spell that targets an enchantment in play interesting Got myself a dream catch. He's dreaming about money. It's two and a blue. He's got coins falling out of his head. He'll wake up real happy. He's got really rosy cheeks. Cool art. Looks fun. Draw three cards. Choose two cards from your hand. Put uh, both on either top or bottom of your library. Dreams, riches are easily spent. By D. Alexander Gregory. Really cool. Lovely art. Looks like fun. Looks like I got another multicolor card from uh, Mirage Delirium. One a black and a red. It looks like he's ripping his own head off or skin off. That's an insane picture. You would not see this anymore. Tressy Nielsen, that is insane. He's ripping his own head off in the forest. There's blood coming out. He's got his hand in his heart and he's ripping his he's ripping his head off. It's insane. Play only on target opponent's turn. Tap target creature that player controls. That creature deals to the player an amount of damage equal to its power. That creature kneels, neither deals nor receives combat damage this turn. Crazy picture. I feel like it should kill it. It should. The creature should kill itself at the end, like the picture. I uh, got a servant heart. One in a green, or serene heart. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just holding some aura. Looks like some blue. Got the artist's name in the background, D something. D Alexander Gregory. Destroy all local enchantments. Just destroy them all. Cool. Real cheap. Get them all. Just get rid of them. Instant Speed Mirage. Really cool. Just really calm, peaceful shaman or something. Looks like I got a... Patagal Golem. Four generic. Looks like a flying creature. Oh, you got to pay for its flying. Pay three. Flying until end of turn. It's a two, three artifact creature. Kind of creepy. Looks like a scarecrow. Got some leopard skin wings. Maybe they're like sewn on. They definitely look sewed on. You can see the stitching there. So pay three, stitch on some wings, and they'll make it go. Got some uh, Edward Scissorhand fingers going on. Pretty fun. Really cool picture. Scott Krishkrenner. 
Ooh, this is a beautiful picture. Chariot of the Sun. Three generic. This guy's got a dragon with a, a chariot built into him. I don't know how that works. I wonder how they... I don't even know how you'd raise that. Three generic, got beautiful reds and orange in the picture, got the sun perfectly in the center. He's blocking his eyes from the sun because it's so hot. Uh, artifact, two and tap, target creature you control, gains flying and has toughness reduced to one until end of turn. Hmm, give your creature flying, but make its toughness very weakness. I got a Tillum Tor's darts, two generic. He's just standing there. He's got his little knife in his hand. All these like kunai going on. He's about to throw them. This is drawn by Walker. Kev Walker, yep, Kev Walker, cool. Uh, two, tap, uh, deals one damage to target player. So, pay two, tap, deals one damage. It's like a prodigal sorcerer, except you gotta pay for it. And you can only do it to player. Fun. I got, uh, Unreeling Spring, Sling. Three generic, you got like, uh, the desert in the background. He's got some water in this gourd up front. Got really nice sun reflecting off him. He's got a goose in his hands. Maybe he just killed it with that. It's hard to tell. He's got his food and drink in his hand. Artifact. Three tap. Tap an untapped creature you control. Uh, sling deals damage amount of damage equal to that creature's power to target attacking or blocking creature with flying. So he's got a blur in his hand so he did damage to that creature with flying. Got the desert in the background and yep just trying to make his day. So we got one of those. I got a Shaku's minion. One a black and a red. Looks like this crazy bird's flying out of here. Is that the artist's symbol right there? Greg Samison. Uh, beautiful energy and like lightning color. Purples, blues, oranges, and a little bit of reds. Love it. Got the bird there. Her hands are up. Got some like nice leaves in the foreground. You got the bird. You got another leaf. You got this person there just shooting all this energy. It's a 2 2 summon minion. It's got black and red tap. The minion deals two damage to target white creature. Only white creatures. So the poor bird is going to get hurt. I got a Burning Shield Askhtar, two and a red, Summon Knight flanking. It's got two red, first strike until end of turn, it's a 2-2. Two -two. Boom. A knight. <clears throat> got an Armorer, Guild Mage, one red. He's got all the weapons, you gotta go to him if you want one. Cool, I don't even know that what that is, it just looks dangerous. You can't really block that because it's got so many points and so many weird sides. Summon Wizard. 1-1. One, one. Black tap, target creature gets plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. Green tap, target creature gets plus 0, plus 1 until end of turn. Give it dark, give it some strength, give it some green, give it some defense. I got a Carvex torch, X and red. Interesting torch. Got like a lion on the front of it blowing out all this fire. Sorcery interrupts that target. Uh, the torch costs an additional 2 to play, so harder to counter. Uh, the torch deals X damage to target creature or player. That's cool. That's fun. I wish it was instant speed. Got a Searing Spear. Ashkari. Two in red. Really beautiful artwork. Wow. Really detailed. Crazy. Richard Kane Ferguson. 2-2. Two, two. Flanking. It's a one in a, one in a red. Searing Spear. Uh, cannot be blocked by only one creature this turn. Can be blocked by only one creature this turn. Got the horse in the background. They're just running there. He's got his Flaming Spear going on. Interesting. Just plowing this guy down. Detailed artwork for sure. Got two of those. Got a pyric salamander. He got his little tongue sticking out. He got his uh, butt facing us. Got the sun in the background. Got some mountains there. Really cool depth in the picture. Really like it. Tony Roberts. It's a 1 1. And it's got red. Plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn. Bury pyric salamander at the end of turn. So if you're going to use it, pay a lot of red. Otherwise, he's going to go away. Got two of those. I got a shadow guild mage. One black summon wizard. Just hanging out there, wrapping up this body, it looks like, or healing this guy. It's hard to tell if he's healing him or turning him into a mummy. So 1-1 one, one creature, blue and tap. Put target creature you control on top of its owner's library. Right and tap, shadow Gid mage. Just 1 damage to target creature or player, and 1 damage to you. So, save a creature or do some damage to a creature. Got two of those, actually. Yeah, two of those. I got a Shoal Shriek. Now, this is art. Everyone's probably seen this. Well, maybe not, actually. Uh, very iconic, crazy looking scream, look at the mouth in there, it just looks like another world inside there. It's like this mummy wrapped up, got the crazy oranges and yellows behind him, crazy long jaw, don't want to look at that. Instant for one black, tiger creature control gets plus uh, star plus zero until end of turn, where uh, star is equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard, bury that creature at the end of turn. Boom, get it pretty big. Got myself a sewer wet, really like this card. A uh, bunch of rats running everywhere, wild, gross, red eyes, one black. Summon rats, 
Black, pay one life, plus one, plus zero until end of turn. You may not pay more than three in this turn each way. It's a one, one, so you can make it a four, a four, one, lose three life, uh, but that's all you can do. No more than that. Got a sulking ghost, one in a black. Looks like a little ghost. His tail's like wrapped around there. Really cool art, really dark, really dark. Flying, if sulking ghost is target of spell or ability, bury it. And it's a two, one. It's a summon ghost. I got a Grave Servitude, one in a black. Enchant creature, you may choose to play Grave Servitude as an instant. If you do, bury it at the end of turn. Enchanted creature gets plus three, negative one, and is black. Cool. Rawr. And then I got another Effelbillment. Boom. And on to the last pack. And I'm back. Sorry for all the pauses. Uh, my camera is uh, really acting up a lot lately. I really should uh, look into getting a new one. That will be my next big purchase. Anyways, we're on to the last little baggie that I got. The first card I got is from Ice Age. So there's some Ice Age in here. I got a Ghostly Flame. Black and red enchantment. Both black and red permanents. And spells are considered colorless sources of damage. Interesting. So if you have a card that says like protection of red, go ahead and hit him with a lightning bolt and it will do the damage anyway. Got this like fame sprite there just hanging out in this like crater in the ground. He landed like a meteor or something. Beautiful. I'm not sure what that is. A spider on the ground. Lovely art. Randy Gallagos. Beautiful. Ah, boop. Got a Tefiri's Honor Guard. Tefiri, we all know who he is. Uh, two and a white. She's just hanging out there on her horse. Some night. Beautiful detail on there. Almost looks like picturesque. Flanking. And has two blue. Phase out. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Huh. So you can make it have phasing. This is some more visions. Brass Talon Chimera. Got this automaton running around with like a dragon head. Or like cat head. Does it breathe and fire out? It looks like it got smoke going on. Really cool background. Almost looks like uh, machinery going on there. Really cool. Or like blueprints. Fun. First strike, Brass Talon Chimera. Counts as a Chimera. Sacrifice Brass Talon Chimera. Put a 2-2 two -two counter on target Chimera. And that Chimera gains first strike permanently. So 2-2. Two -two. Fun. So sack it. Put a 2-2 two -two on another Chimera. And that creature gains first strike permanently. Fun. I like it. Keldorian dead. These guys, they're doing something. This guy's standing there. He says, hold him back. This guy's on the ground. You just got these skeletons. You got the graveyard in the background. They mean business. Got the guy's name there. Melissa Benson. Awesome picture. Got the moonlight in the background. And uh, they got weapons. They must have been buried with them or something. When Keldorian dead comes into play, sacrifice a creature. It's a 3-1 and has regenerate. 3-1 comes into play, sack a creature. And has regenerate for a black. I got a Darjaw Griffin, three and a white, just hanging out in the forest on the rock, roaring like the tiger bird he is flying. Sacrifice the Griffin, destroy target black creature. It's a 2-2. Two -two. He got the famous Storm Crow from Alliances. Cool art on there, leaving like black storm behind him. Maybe he makes the storms. Maybe that's how crows work. One in a blue, summon bird flying. It tells you that the worst is coming. Do you listen? It's a 1-2. A 1-2 is flying. Boop. Got another Honor Guard. Look at the art on here. Repraisal. Fun. Just like this big red dragon in the city and all the townsfolks are there. Oh, it looks like he got this lady down there. It looks like she's dead. He's about to throw a potato at him. No, that's a log. And about to hit him with the axe and hit him with the spear. One in a white. Berry target creature with power 4 or greater. This is back when they said berry. Burry. I got a chub toad. Just a chubby toad. And it looks like he ate this poor guy. He got his hand sticking out and he's doing <laughs> that. <laughs> Don't look at it. Two and a green. Just this toad hanging out there by Daniel Golan. Chub Toad gets plus two plus two until end of turn. One block. Blocking or blocked. Fun. It's a one one. It's a big fat toad. Got some dire wolves. Woo, look at the crazy look on there. Looks like they're hanging in this carcass of the woolly mammoth. They need more food. You got the aurora in the background. Love it. Beautiful artwork. Ron Spencer. How did I know? I love this picture a lot. This might be... Oh, this is beautiful. Two and a green. Gains banding if you control any planes. It's 2-2 two, two with possibly banding. I really like this card. I'm going to set to side. Another Water Spout de Jin. Boldovian Bears. Oh, just a big old bear. Give him a nice little scratch. He's got his teeth sticking out. Give him some honey and he'll be happy. One and a green. They're hardly bunch. The hardy bunch... But I'd still bet they're just slept through the worst of the cold times. 2-2. Two, two. Just a bear. 
just an old bear. Got a rhyme dryad. One green, just hanging out in the forest. Her hands are frozen. She looks kind of cold. She's making snow. Slim and dried. Snow covered forest walk. It's a one, two. Honorable passage. One and a white. You got some energy going on. It looks like they're doing some dance. Really lengthy legs and their swords. Prevent all damage uh, to you of target creature from any one source. If the source is red, unroll passage deals uh, to the source's controller amount of damage equal to the amount of damage prevented. So if you want to prevent damage from a 7-7 red creature, that creature deals that damage to that controller's owner. Got a Knight of Valor. Cool art. Two and a uh, white. Got three knights hanging out. This guy in the back. First uh, foreground, background, and then the background again. Got interesting blue and orange sky flanking. It's a 2-2 two -two knight. One and a white. Each creature without flanking blocks Knight of Valor. Gets negative one, negative one until end of turn. Uses his ability only once each turn. Hmm. Looks like a browse. This guy is studying. He's got like a yarmulke on his head, it looks like. And he's just ripping out the pages. And he's got an interesting skin and interesting uh, red and white striped jacket. And I don't know what he's looking for, but he's not finding what he finds. So he's just ripping out the pages. Two and two blue. Enchantment. It has two and two blue. Look at the top five cards of your library. And put one of them in your hand. Remove the remaining from the game. So look at the top five. Put one in your hand. And the rest, gotta go away. Got three of those. Really cool art. I think this is a free card. Uh, you can play for free, I believe. Uh, Scars of the Veteran. Four and a white. Really detailed work. You're just hanging out there. You may remove a white card in your hand from the game instead of paying scabs of veterans casting cost. Prevent up to seven damage to target creature or player. For each one damage... To a creature prevented by Scars of Veteran, put a plus zero plus one counter on that creature at the end of the turn. So it's a free card if you discard a white card, kind of just like Force of Will. Cool. But not as good, nowhere as near. Look at this cool art on there. Unlikely alliance. The alliance between the old people with the powdered wigs and the reptilians with one eyes and the big axe. Really cool art, really fun. They're like laughing. Are they getting married? Maybe they're getting married. I love it. This is a fun picture. This is really fun. Enchantment. By Phil Fogilo. Uh, one in a white. Target non-attacking, non-black, non-blocking creature gets plus zero, plus two until end of turn. Strange alliances are alliances still. And provide the same protection. <laughs> Fun. Really like that art. Uh, oh, dude. Let me see. I got... Inheritance. One in a white enchantment. Looks like she inherited this necklace. Got an interesting blue background. Uh, three, draw a card. Uses ability only when a creature is put into a graveyard from play and only once for each creature card uh, put into the graveyard. So draw a card only if your creature dies and you play three. I got a seasoned tactician. Two and a white. He's got his uh, scrolls going on. Three, remove top four cards of your library from the game to prevent all damage from one source. It's one, three. Hmm. Got a Repraisal. Buried target creature at four or greater. One and a white. It's like the same scene in that town, but with a different monster. This one has like hammerhead, hammer shark head. Interesting. And they're just about to hit him with the arrows. And he's got his little rake. And they're going to fight this guy. Cool picture. I got a Folk of the Pines. Four and a green. She's in the forest. She's made of the pine. She's made of the snow. Summon Dryad. Uh, one in green, plus one, plus zero until end of turn. It's a two, five. I got another shrink. I got a feast of the unicorn. Don't eat the unicorn. Looks like uh, he pulled off the horn of it, and they're using it to <laughs> as a pick or something. He's got a little lip ring, and he's green. He got maybe this moon in the background bouncing off water. Just hanging out. Three in a black enchanted creature. Target creature gets plus four, plus zero. Some delicacies are not to be savored. Saved by the colors. Hmm. Look at these guys. Crazy. And you can see some of the body there. I got another shrink. Different art. This one, you got this guy groveling on the ground over here. This giant woman there. Got the clouds in the background. It's a little bit of red and orange in the sky. Target creature gets negative five, negative zero until end of turn. Boom, 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 boom. Got two of those. Got another storm crow. Got another brass talon chimera. Another Ironheart Chimera. Four, generic. You got this creature going on. It's almost like a vehicle. This is like four vehicles. It's a 2 2. Attacking does not cause Ironheart Chimera to tap. It's got vigilance. Ironheart Chim Chimera counts as a Chimera. Sacrifice Ironheart Chimera. Put a 2 2 counter on Tiger Chimera. And attacking 
uh, any turn does not cause that Khmer to tap. Cool. So it gets Vigilance. Permanently. Got a Kishu Drake. Three in a green. This guy's flying around the, the fall trees. Beautiful fall weather right now. Uh, lovely green little lizard. Really lengthy body. Small little wings. Summon Drake. Flying from Visions. It's 2-2. Two, two. Spend green. Uh, gets plus 0, plus 1 until end of turn. You cannot spend more than one green this way each turn. So it can only become a 2-3. Sacrifice this creature. Search your library for Vishivian Dragon and put that card into play. Shuffle your libraries afterwards. Cool. So sack this guy. Put another dragon into play. Fun. Got another Chimera. A Lead Belly Chimera. Four generic artifact creature with Trample. Counts as a Chimera. Uh, sack him. Put a 2-2 two -two counter on another creature. And it grains Trample permanently. Chimeras seem pretty fun to make a deck like that. It's a 2-2 two -two cost. Got myself a Trade Caravan. Now this is just fun. It's like a bizarre... Uh, she's just like in a circus got all these animals pulling all this stuff got like a polar bear I don't know what that is got a giraffe in there even and uh, they got all the goodies just selling their stuff you Got a small little deer walking there or camel during your upkeep put a currency counter on trade caravan Zero remove two currency counters from trade caravan to untapped target basic land use this ability only during an, an opponent's upkeep It's a 1-1 one, one. so it's a creature Interesting it's a creature it's a summon caravan I guess it is an entity Fun. Cool. I got two of those. Got another false demise. Got three of those. Got myself a spiny starfish. Two in the blue. Really cool art. Looks like uh he's got little fingers on him. Is he putting is he pulling out the starfish from him? Looks like he's giving birth and like maybe throwing them. Hmm. It has blue regenerate. At the end of any turn which spiny starfish regenerated, put a starfish token into play for each time it regenerated that turn. Treat these tokens as 0-1 blue creatures. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. So you regenerate them, and for the amount of times you regenerate them that turn, you can make a blue, 0-1 blue creature. That's fun. I don't know. I feel like something could happen to this card. Wish they were wall creatures, wall tokens. Got another appraisal. And alliances is known for multiple art on some of the cards, which is fun. Got an awesome presence. Interesting crazy green monster vines. This guy's just running away. Got the white light underneath him. He just shouldn't have went in there. One blue. Enchanted creature cannot be blocked unless defending player pays an additional three for each creature signed to block that creature. So I'll make a creature almost unblockable unless they pay three. Got another Knight of Valor. Got ourselves some peace talks. They're coming together to talk peace. The swords are on the ground and they're drawing on there. This guy doesn't want to do peace though. It looks like he's the only one standing up. During this turn on the, uh, and the next one, players cannot declare an attack and cannot play spells or abilities to target any permanent or player. That's fun. So put four of these in your deck. Really make the game different. I really like that. Fun art too. Roger Kaup. Unbod Bodyguard. Three and a red. Interesting third eye going on there. I got this crazy Minotaur creature, Bodyguard. He's just a summon Bodyguard. Doesn't even have a name. Just a Bodyguard. And uh, protecting him. First strike, it's a 2-3. Not all Minotaurs are tribal. Some are freelance. <laughs> Hire the Bodyguard. Got a Mercer's Groundbreaker. Looks like uh, some glass or something's broken there. And out from the ground comes these black creatures artifact. It's a four generic. Uh, tap, Sacrifice, Mercer's Groundbreaker. Target land becomes a 3-3 three, three artifact creature. That still counts as a land. So turn your land into a creature. Got a giant albatross. One in a blue. This giant albatross. Seagull going on. Bigger than the boat. Flying. One in a blue. Bury all creatures that damage giant albatross this turn. The controller of any of those creatures may pay two life to prevent that creature from being buried. Effects that prevent or redirect damage cannot be used to counter this loss of life. Use this ability only when giant albatross is put into a graveyard from play. It's a 1-1 creature. So when this creature dies, you may pay one in a blue, bear all the creatures that hurt it. Looks like we got three of these Asin and Bureaucrats, these Bureaucrat guys going on. One in a white. Uh, tap target creature with power two, uh, tap to tap target creature with power two, no greater than two. And they're one-one creatures, and you got the different art there. Cool. Got another Tefiri's Honor Guard. Another Peace Talks. Another one of these Griffins. A Longbow Archer. First Strike. Longbow Archer can block creatures with flying. So he's got Reach. It's 2-2 two, two for 2 white. Got a couple of those. Got the dragon in the background. Cool. 
Got another one of uh, Honor Roll Passage, another Lead Belly Chimera. Um, really cool. This is a fun picture. Free Wing Falcon. One in a white. It looks like he's got protection from red. He's got the goblins in the background shooting arrows. Obviously, it just bounced off his feather. Not even paying no mind to them. They're just dancing there like little kids. Flying protection from red. It's a 1-1. One, one. That does it. I'm going back to hunting chickens. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Can't get them. Got another Breeze Keeper. Another Knight of Valor. Got a Benethic Explorers. Three in a blue. Summon Merfolk. It's a 2-4 Merfolk. Tap, untap target, tap land. And opponent controls to add one mana of any color that land produces to your mana pool. So untap one of their lands, add a mana that it produces to your mana pool if you need to. Got an energy arc. Cool art on this. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a third eye going on. You got a triangle there just hitting it in his head. Uh, white and blue. Instant. Untap any number of target creatures. Those creatures neither deal nor receive damage in combat this turn. It's an instant. So prevent all combat damage between creatures really. Well, unless you want to you don't have to untap a creature. Interesting. Cool art by Tressie Nielsen. I got a surge of strength from alliances. Green and re uh, red and green. Instant. Choose and discard a red or green card from your hand to have target creature gain trample and get plus X plus zero until the end of turn where X is equal to that creature's casting cost. So, uh, play this. Discard a red or green card. That creature gets plus X plus zero to where that creature's casting cost. So if you did it for a creature like this, his casting cost is three, and it become a five, a five, a five two, with trample. Fun. I got a nature's blessing, two white and a green enchantment. Uh, white and green. Choose and discard a card from your hand to have target creature gain banding, first strike, and trample, or get plus one, plus one counter. Interesting. And you can discard a card. Could be uh, beneficial. It's like, like these tiny little fairies are just blowing like aura into his eyes, into the gray gray hair. I don't know. Weird. I got Anabana Shaman. Three in red. Summon Minotaur. It's a 2-2 creature. It has red and tap. The Shaman deals one damage to target creature or player. Playing with lightning. Looking antelope looking thing. Or Minotaur it says. Got another Nature's Blessing. Got two of those actually. Got some singer bats. Cool picture. This is fun. They just look like they're upside down talking about the day. One and two black. Just hanging out. Got some buddies flying in the background. Cool picture. Flying. Whenever a creature is put into a graveyard, the same turn Sengar bats deals damage to it. Put a one encounter in Sengar bats. It's a one two. In the face of everyone, I see the Baron. Yep. Vampires. I got another Sengar bats. Different art. Really like this one better. I've only seen this art. I don't know if I've seen this one. Cool. Got a torture. Enchant creature. This guy's, they're cutting up his body or they're marking it. Almost like a butcher. Disgusting. Maybe they're going to tattoo him. Hope not. He's got a terrible look in his face. Got skulls in the background. This guy with a skull on his head. Choose target creature. One in black. Put a negative one, negative one counter on torture. Uh, on creature torture and chance. Put this on a creature. Pay one in a black. Give it some negative one, negative one counters. And uh, another one. This one's even creepier. He's like, get on the table. No, thank you. I would run away or just put him on the table. Got another reprisal. Got two of those. I got a willow fairy. Uh, this guy's hanging out there. Got his butterfly wings going on. Looks like an acorn's on the ground. He's really tiny. He's a fairy. One in a green summon fairy with flying. Swift as the wind and harder to catch. That's the fairies for you. It's a one, two. We got a renewal. Two in a green sorcery. She's just hanging out, growing a plant in her hand. Got some interesting aura around her head and her hand. And it's like Mother Nature. Sacrifice a land to search your life for a basic land and put it directly into play that does not count towards your one land per turn limit. Reshuffle your library afterwards. Draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Hmm. Got another Astrolabe. I got a Soul Devi Sentry. One generic. Look at this big robot looking guy. Got his third eye kind of going on. He's just standing out there. Looks like he's made of metal. One regenerate target. Uh, regenerate target opponent may draw a card. It's a 1-1. One, one. Why would you regenerate him? You'll make him draw a card. We got a glider. Flying. Cannot be assigned a to block. It's a 2-1. Crazy bird skeleton creature. Hm. Three generic. Got a Yavamaya Ants. Cool picture by Pat Morrissey. Got this spiky looking ant walking on like uh, these ant hills. Really up close picture. Got some tiny little ants in the background. Maybe he's a giant one. Two and two green. 
Trample, cumulative upkeep of two. Gamma Vi Ants can attack the turn it comes into play on your side. It's got uh, haste. Interesting. You don't know many green cards with haste. Cumulative upkeep, and it's a 5-1. Interesting, interesting. You got an Elvish Bard, 3 and 2 green. Summon Elf, all creatures able to block Elvish Bard. Dude, so if it forces a creature to block more than one more attackers than allowed, defending player signs that creature to block as many of those attackers as allowed. It's a 2 4. And just uh, the Bard is luring them in to attack. You got the deer in the back on the face and this guy up front. You can see all the animals are attracted to him or her, so that's why they all want to block him. And the last card I got is a Hailstorm. Hiding underneath the tree in the hailstorm, this poor guy needs to wait it out. One and two green. Instant hailstorm deals two damage to each attacking creature and one damage to to you and each creature you control. Boom. So, could be a board wipe. Anyways, got a nice little stack of cards over here. Only got like uh, two basic lands. And uh, yeah, just a bunch of like older sets. A lot of alliances going on. A lot of Mirage. Um, some Tempest. And uh, yeah. Just fun. I don't know if there's any big hitters, but really, I really like looking at the art. I really enjoy just going through it. And uh, yeah, it's only like five dollars and fifty cents. The whole thing was like uh, eleven bucks. It was, it was a no-brainer to me. Just want to have fun with it. Anyways, uh, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed. Hope my voice sounds all right. I know I'm a little under the weather. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, and have a wonderful day.